Hi. Good morning. Afternoon. It's definitely afternoon, almost evening. This weekend, I promised you guys that I would film my setup for Artist Alley, and this time I've rearranged my office, so now I can actually have a mock setup. And I've bought a bunch of new stuff for my setup, so I actually need to do a mock setup prior to a show. All right, so basically how this is gonna work is you guys are gonna see a cool trendy time lapse of me setting up my stuff. And then I'm gonna talk about all the stuff that I have, what I use it for, and I'm going to tell you guys where I got everything, how much it was, and I'm gonna link and tag everything, all of the products that I use in the description box below just so you guys can know and find it and go get it for yourself. But yeah, so let's get this time lapse started. So, this is why it's important to do a mock-up, all right? So, I use these just generic black grid squares um, for my setup. I bought these uh, from a guy off of Let Go for like 12 bucks, and I think he said it was like a six cube storage, you know, that was the size for the setup. I bought this, which was a 12 cube storage setup off of Amazon for like 60 bucks. And uh, if you guys haven't guessed the problem, this is why you need to do a mock-up. So, the ones I bought off of Amazon are smaller. So, crap. So. Brainstorming. What are we gonna do? I don't know. But I'm going to start by building with the larger ones because I feel like even though I have less of these, they're larger, so I'm going to get more space with less, if that makes sense.
trial and error. Sorry about the glare. Uh, my setup, moving things around and seeing what works with the new setup. I think I have finally come to the final arrangement of things. All right, so and then down here is even going to be filled as well. I have new print designs that I'm going to be having made. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. All right? What do you guys want? You want close-up shots? Okay. All right. So this is basically the crate that I painted. I bought it from Michaels and I put some paper in the bottom and then I also put I'll try and the lighting is going to be what it is because it's dark outside right now so I have one shabby light bulb in here you guys so just deal with me uh, right anyways but this I got this from Michaels and I painted it and filled it with the crinkly paper I also got that from Michaels they have a multitude of colors this metal bin wire bin and these me little metal shelves and this one I all got all of those from Hobby Lobby and these white pegboards I went to Ikea and I got them and these I have four of the square ones and then I have one of the extra long one in the middle then I also got these oh, everything there's so much stuff from Ikea you guys I got these picture frames and they have plastic fronts and plastic is very important especially whenever you're doing conventions because that means if you're not carrying glass then oh hi you can see me then that means that you're not going to break the glass whenever you're traveling which has happened to me before and anyways these I'm going to put little squares in front of these and I also got this backing um, from Ikea as well it was, came in like a three set and I'm gonna put little like white squares on here and then on each square behind the plastic I'm gonna put my stickers and then I also got with the pegboards displays you will see you will see that they have a lot of accessories and the main accessories that I bought I bought some of everything honestly but I got these focus these clips that just and they hook into the back focus all nice and neat like that then I also got some little J hooks that you can see right there that the plastic basket is hanging from that's pretty much how I hung up everything all right so they also came with these and basically you can screw these in to, and I use these to screw in my clear shelves. They're clear, so it's kind of hard to see them. But I'm trying to tell you guys what I did. All right. And then I also have these little metal S hooks. I will show you what that is. It's my metal S hook. I ordered these off of Amazon, and I use those to hang up my sign. All right, I'm sorry I'm moving the camera around a lot, but I just want to make sure you guys can actually see the details of how I hung everything up. I actually use the S hooks also to hang up the picture frames as well. So, <laughs> all right, and if you will notice, my board does not go all the way down. I knew that I was going to put my button case and my box that all my t-shirts are going to be stored in so it was going to be technically wasted space I wanted more of a gap so you could see me so I needed to lift those up so everything would be in alignment I used the metal like click together things with it to brace the back of it and then I zip tied all of the whiteboards to the metal grid these clear shelves I also got those from Ikea this is the brand of the clear shelves I don't know how to say that sorry I'm American trash but that's the brand and it's very important 
You don't have to get the clear shelves, but whatever shelving that you do get for it, you want to make sure that the holes, let me see, behind your shelving that you're going to hang it from are lined up with the holes on the pegboards. So this one, obviously you can line it up on there, but you also want to make sure that this other one, focus please, is lined up as well. So, and again, I was just doing a mock setup, so I did these with just the S hooks, but whenever I actually do a setup, they will be screwed in with these guys that I showed you earlier. Ta-da! Okay. All right, next setup. I just went and bought, I've actually had this crate for a really long time, and it's kind of just been storing my projects and I think I'm gonna use it to hold my t-shirt display in and I'm gonna have the t-shirts not folded up. I'm gonna have one on like a nice, excuse me. I'm gonna have one on a nice hanger so it'll actually look cute. And so you can see what it is. And then obviously I have my business cards again. I bought the little business card holder from Hobby Lobby I got the court covering from Michaels and it was like four thin sheets for $5 or $10. But what it's on is kind of like a jewelry board stand. However, all of my enamel pins are double backed so they don't line up with these holes. So I just put like a double edge sticky tape on those. And now I just have it sitting up like that. All right, I got this display from Clear Solutions. I love it because it breaks down really easy and it looks put together and nice and neat and it gives your booth some dimension. And down here, I'm also gonna have my 11 by 17 prints and I am probably just going to clip those onto the bottom. And yeah, but do, 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 do. So the only thing that I have not done a mock setup of, and that's just because I don't need to, I just needed to figure out how I was going to place it, is my buttons that will obviously go in there eventually, and then my stickers that will go into the frames. I like this setup, and I will show you guys in a second. I just gotta turn on some more lights, maybe? I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, because this setup also offers me plenty of storage for extra products so I don't have to store them under my table like I normally would. I can store them in this back grid behind here and I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, bye, let's go look at it. Okay, well, I tried, I turned on the living room light and it's still very dark because obviously the one light in this room is right there and and shadow and lighting and I suck at this. However, um, I just feel like this is another very important detail to brag about and talk about because we don't think about it. All right, so this is like built-in shelving for all of your products that you can keep back here and I have so much room. Uh, if you can't tell, uh, my camera died so I just wanted to come on here and say goodbye to you without just abruptly ending the video like that. But yeah, you guys pretty much got to see everything that my setup entails, how I set it up, and all of the crucial information as to like where to get stuff from. That's really it. Thanks for watching and bye. Back it says, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Fury. Furiosa. Oh, puppy, puppy, puppies. You are so cute.